Hi, you know what time it is? Merch time? Well, yeah, I mean, no, a lot of us are going into a new year, so it's time for cleanup. What are we cleaning up, you ask? This document, which is a collection of your questions and ideas from before Reddit times you sent me. If I found your submission interesting, I just put it in this document and it grew and grew and grew. And you know, I think it's time to go through it together and make the list much shorter. What is this? This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Not only Brilliant provides the best way to learn simple or complex concepts with their hands-on interactive courses, but also you can get 20% off of their annual premium membership from my link brilliant.org slash electroboom and use or gift the knowledge. More at the end. Some of these are from years ago. Let's see. Finding stuff with metal rods. What is this? How to find underground cables and pipes. I want to show you something. Oh. oh, I know what it is. You have probably seen this before, that they bend two metal rods in an L shape and hold them like this, and when they go around, they can magically find objects around them. See? There is where your gas line is. Magic. Right down below. Here's another one of these videos. So in this video, they try to find underground water using these L shaped rods. At this moment, they deflect. If I turn around, come back again, at this moment, they deflect. So am I moving this? No. They are getting automatically moved. <laughs> they are getting automatically moved. And it doesn't have anything to do with him accelerating forward. Sarcasm. Now he's trying to connect this to electricity. This particular part. Whatever the radiations are there, which are coming from ground, the moment you get similar charges coming on these rods, they deflect. So basically what these people claim is that the electric charges peaked by these rods make them attract or repel each other, which is false. This never works. And then he proceeds to find underground water pipes using his metal rods. See, they open up and he claims that there is a water line underneath. Hmm. Well, let's entertain the possibility. I made the L rods. Let's use them. I point them towards my laptop. Oh, 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 they are opening up. Fake. They are so unstable in this position that a very slight hand movement moves them around. And that's the trick those guys are using. Need more proof? Fine. I'm going to charge these metal rods with tens and thousands of volts using my magic wand. I'm holding one loosely in my hand as ground and charge the other one. And they shoot attract to each other. Do you see anything? No. I mean, how close should I get before I see anything? Ah, and if that wasn't enough, you know that human body is conductive and pretty much removes all the charge differences between the rods. So that's a very garbage claim. This does nothing. Cleaned zero energy. No free energy device will ever be allowed to reach the what market. What happens when you have something that would fit on this table and it will run your house? You have a battery. Dr. Putoff, he does zero point energy research. He's worked for every three letter agency. Told me personally that he knew we already had these technologies, but that if he were to bring them forward, he would be killed along with his family and children. Do you realize how ridiculous these claims are? They act like the United States is the only country in existence and there is no other country in desperate need of energy that doesn't have oil and wants this technology. Do you have this technology? Go there, give them the technology and become a millionaire. Absolute junk. Electric eel man. But he doesn't draw the electricity from a wall socket. He claims to generate it within his own body. Some electric radiating healing device. What is this garbage? Healing animals pains with electricity. Vets sell this one for top dollar. This tiny circle radiates something magical that will heal your horses. You know it's absolutely fake. All it has is placebo effect, if anything. They are all regular electricity. If you think these loops work, then you might as well just put your cell phone on your head and start the healing process. Garbage, delete. Free energy disc with magnets? What is that? Those magnets turn these magnets? Delete. Override video signals on TVs. From 2011. 
Okay, that device you see plugged into the iPhone, that's yeah. my video transmitter. Now this is my video repeater. So he claims he has a video transmitter on his iPhone and a receiver and he puts his receiver close to any TV and his picture shows on that TV. Okay, now somebody probably has debunked it already. He wants to send his transmitter up in a balloon and affect that giant TV in Vegas. <laughs> Bank! Well, the first clue might be that the transmitter is plugged into the audio jack and is populated with garbage components. Like what is it, a giant transformer? Update, check out my new video that explains how I did it. Let's see how we did it. How do you come up with this stuff? NZT. What's NZT? that? What is that, a condom? I'll show it to you later. You know how they say that we can only access 20% of our brain? NZT lets you access NZT? all that you do. Limitless. Oh, so it was all an advertisement for a movie? <laughs> Garbage ads making people confused. Technical info made some fake videos. Technical info. Free energy light bulbs. There is a battery in here. Making a battery with bananas. And charging the phone with it. He shoved batteries in the bananas. Stupid channels. Make wireless earbuds. You cut your perfectly good earphones and you wrap the ends in aluminum foil. And you have this. Wireless earbuds. He has almost 2 million views and 12,000 likes only. No dislikes. <laughs> YouTube, you dumb. Free energy with super cap. A generator with an LED connected to a motor as usual. But now this time you have a 500 farad super capacitor. And the generator is strong enough to charge that capacitor right away. Here I have a 400 farad capacitor and I'm gonna charge it with 10 amps. And let's see how long it takes for it to charge up to the 3 volts that white LED needs. Look how slowly it rises. <sighs> this is gonna take forever. That thing was super fake. Issue is people also fall for any sort of this garbage. Scholar energy saving sticker? It's just a regular sticker and you stick it on power cords? What is it supposed to do? Energy saving sticker? Save energy with a sticker? Electricity by nature flows in an unstable manner. Hmm. Scammers! Scammers everywhere! Fake free energy light bulb motor generator? Eh, another one of these videos. Over 6 million views and not a single dislike! Another one of the same thing. 27 million views? No dislike! My most viewed video has 17 million views, which is that electric guitar thing I made. And this is to commemorate that. Crap solar battery? Oh, this is my beloved American tech. What other fake garbage he's making now? And he's taking his sweet time gluing wires to CD because YouTube rewards longer videos. Damn, over five minutes and he's still gluing garbage. And now he's soldering some diodes between those wires. There we go. He puts his CD in the sunlight and he can measure voltage across it. And clearly when he covers it, the voltage drops. So did he make a solar panel? I guess technically yes. Does it have anything to do with the CD or the wires glued on it? Not at all. This is a diode with a glass body that the light can get into and hit the silicon. And like Steve Moult said in his old video, every diode can act as a solar panel. See how high of a voltage it's making? So the wires and the CD were only for show and tell. Baby burnt lips due to chewing charger wire. Mother warns others after baby burned by phone charger. A Kentucky mother took to Facebook to warn others after her baby suffered burns on her lip from putting a phone charger in her mouth. Do we really need to warn parents to be worried about kids putting wires in their mouths? Could have been worse, they could have put live wires in their mouths. Ah. <sighs> Society. Backwards gravity in street. 
What? Video unavailable. Delete. Free energy phone charger. Ah, garbage. Perpetual machine using water bottles. Yeah, garbage. Free energy using magnets on metal. What, he has two aluminum foils? Big magnets. Connects an LED with wires to these metal plates. Drops magnets on them and they turn on. How is that ever possible? Free energy reel? See, he moves it around and it stays on. So he has a reverse diode across his LED too. I wonder why. Fine, let me make it for you. I have the same LED foil arrangement I just place on the table and I put some magnets on the foils and see, the LED turns on. <laughs> Which might have something to do with the two sheets of aluminum I placed on the table that are connected to my function generator. Basically, these are just capacitors to couple the energy to my LED. Hence, everyday regular bullshittery. Fake solar cell. I want you to listen to this music carefully. If you hear it anywhere, remember that video you're watching is fake. Oh, you're gonna watch all these garbage videos with me. <laughs> Don't think you're leaving anytime soon. Piezo shoes to charge phone. He's putting a bunch of these in his shoes, connecting them together and claims it can charge a phone. Oh, he has a battery pack in his shoe. <laughs> eh, garbage. Those piezo crystals no way have enough energy close to what a cell phone needs to get charged. Fake free energy magnetic nail crap. <laughs> what? He's gluing a bunch of nails to a CD and the nail CD keeps turning because he has a magnet close to it. You can be sure there is no hidden battery because the video has 15 million views and 129,000 likes. <sighs> free energy spinning garbage. Oh, it's again from that tech info channel. <sighs> this just makes me sad. Dislike. Feedback shared with the creator? YouTube, you thought creator didn't know his video was garbage already? You think he's gonna care that I gave him a dislike and remove this video? You think it's gonna stop them from making more garbage videos? Especially when they can make a ton of money from YouTube? The dislike count was for us, the viewers, to know that the video was garbage. Thanks a lot, YouTube. Let's keep going. Anti-gravity lifter. Anti-gravity lifter? That's just a regular lifter, high voltage stuff. It goes up with considerable strength. I believe what it's doing is creating a gravity field above it. And it's actually trying to fall upwards. <laughs> oh my God. It's just ionic wind for God's sake. It's creating anti-gravity and it's pulling it up. Just go watch Plasma Channel's video where Jay made the same thing and explains how it works. Man, this garbage is making me old. Free energy channel. Should I even bother? Mr. McTech. 5G internet with a key in your phone. Top seven free energy devices. Elon Musk, new free internet 5G 100%. <laughs> Elon Musk. 22 million views, 9.2 million views, 8.6 million views, 5.1 million views, 5 million views. Do you realize how much money they might have made making these videos? Do you really think they'll stop making these? Super capacitor fake. Oh, American tech. It takes a bunch of aluminum foil, isolates the foils with paper, rolls it together, and basically he's trying to make a capacitor. He puts plus and minus on the legs, as if it matters, and writes 7,000 farads on it to make it 7,000 farad capacitor. And he shows how much power and current his super capacitor can output. Now you might ask, why is this capacitor fake? Well, I have made a capacitor like this before and it barely reaches 10 nanofarad, let alone 7,000 farads. He probably has a lithium ion battery hidden in there that he's shorting out. And if you're not sure, let me show you this. He's rolling his capacitor and this aluminum foil on top of the paper is shorting to this aluminum foil, which is on the opposite side of the paper. So he's basically shorting the two sides of the capacitor. He's not making a capacitor, he's making a short circuit. From Vector, 
free energy old guy. <laughs> a new kind of energy system, one that would free mankind from the burdens of oil and fossil fuels. I wish something like this actually existed. Who is he? That he is might actually be a very important person, I don't know. Garbage! Now that we are here, what is this junk? Cosmic cons cosmic consciousness cosmic consciousness enlightenment spirit connection. This is just a PCB! Cosmic consciousness. Okay, I think we had a good run. Only two more pages left that we can clean up later. I hope you have great holidays, whatever they may be, and start a much better new year. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you, like me, haven't bought gifts for the holidays. But why not give the gift of knowledge thanks to my sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is an interactive learning platform with tons of courses from intermediate to professional level on math, physics and science and computing. Maybe you, like me, get dizzy every time you look at the Maxwell equations. I lost it all after 25 years passed since school. But thanks to Brilliant, I can start over refreshing all those complex vector equations. And maybe start on some quantum physics too. And yet, there are tons of interactive knowledge at a level my 12-year-old daughter can learn from to excel at school. Both of us had been having fun solving Brilliant's logic puzzles. Being able to manipulate and interact with your courses makes it super fun and exciting to learn. And even better, you can learn on your own schedule and prepare for a school or your job requirements and interviews. So use my link brilliant.org slash electroboom and get 20% off of Brilliant's annual premium subscription and start learning. Get on it! And thank you for watching.